Hello everyone. Greetings from PMG Engineering. I am Veena Mishra and I am here today to discuss about condensment and its type. Also, you will get to know in brief about how it is processed in industries. To begin with this, following other contents, we will be discussing in this module. First, we will discuss about condensed milk and why it is important, types of condensed milk and its standard specification, and what are the process of making condensed milk. So, let's start with what is condensed milk. Condensed milk is a cow's or buffalo milk from which water has been removed, roughly 60% of it. The product can be kept without refrigeration and has a long shelf life. It is completely safe for the user. Condensed milk is used in numerous dessert dishes. You can turn it into a caramel. You can add it in your morning coffee or tea. You can drizzle it on your top of fresh fruit to transform it in a dessert. Now, let me tell you why condensed milk is important. As you can see, it's written in slide that it provides extra calories and protein. Yes, it is right. The main object of manufacturing condensed milk are preservation of milk, reduction in bulk, the purpose of long distance transport. The preservation of milk is achieved by controlling the growth and activities of bacteria through the selection of good milk. Concentration of the solids of sugar to such an extent as will increase the osmotic pressure and thereby prevents bacterial multiplication. Types of condensed milk Unsweetened condensed milk Unsweetened condensed milk is also said to be as evaporated milk. This is the product obtained from cow or buffalo milk or a combination of thereof by the partial removal of water. Sweetened condensed milk goes through less processing than evaporated milk. 60% of the water has also been removed from condensed milk, but it differs in that sugar has been added. Condensed milk contains 40-45% to sugar, at least 8% fat and 28% milk solids. Condensed milk is pasteurized during the evaporation procedure. Condensed milk is very high in calories and unsweetened condensed milk is a redundant term. It is simply evaporated milk when mixed with an acidic ingredient. Sweetened condensed milk thickens naturally without requiring heat. Similarities in both the milk products are both are evaporated milk and sweetened milk comes in cans. These two milk products are shelf stable and do not require any type of refrigeration before opening. As you can see in this slide showing standard specifications for condensed milk. Total milk solids, fat, sucrose, acidity, bacterial count, coliform count, yeast and mold count. The basic principle behind the production of condensed milk is that high quality milk is filtered, standardized, for warmed and condensed to the desired level. The concentrated product is presented by the addition of sugar for condensed milk and by heat sterilization for evaporated milk. A flow diagram of various steps involved in the manufacture is presented here. First is receiving of pasteurized milk. When milk is received, its temperature should be about 4 degrees Celsius or below. The milk should be clean, sweet, free from off flavors or odors and reasonably free from any extraneous matter. Sugar is added. Generally, sucrose is added and it has proved to be the most suitable. It may be in the form of highly refined cane sugar or beet sugar. Amount of sugar ranges from 40 to 45% in the finished product, which require 18 to 20% sugar on milk basis. Filtration is the process in which collection of milk is done in order to remove the visible foreign matters. In preheating process, the milk is generally preheated to 40 to 45 degrees Celsius to increase the efficiency of the operation. Pasteurization is the process in which it makes sure milk is safe to drink by killing any bacteria and also helps to prolong its shelf life. The process of pasteurization involves heating of milk up to 78 to 84 degrees Celsius at 120 seconds. 
evaporator is the process in which it allows the excess of water in the milk to evaporate now last process is the cooling process in this the condensed milk is then cooled thus this steps receives most important place in the manufacture of a marketable condensed milk prompt cooling is desirable to delay the tendency of age thickening and discoloration which is accelerated by prolonged exposure to heat and last product is packed and stored at 6 degree celsius thank you for watching this video i hope you find it informative for more informative video be connected to our channel at www.pmg.engineering thank you so much